and just when you thought B-Gamer was done putting out gigantic mega mud trucks, he releases this. Now, this truck is obviously, body-wise, it is based on a sort of like 90s K1500 generation truck, and it's an extended cab body. However, the body is once again just about all that would be left over from the original truck, because everything, everything underneath this truck is new. The engine is new, the, you know, this gigantic subframe is brand new, the axles are completely different, and I really like these wheels. I really, really like the wheels on this truck. Now, one of the coolest things about this truck is that, as you can see on the front there, it is fully console friendly, and there's a lot that you can do to this truck. Like, you can take it from mud truck to mega truck to monster truck, almost, because there are a set of wide monster tires and there are also three different suspension height settings because these coilovers can basically be adjusted like you switch the suspensions but it doesn't really change the actual hard parts you just adjust the suspension up or down in the garage so instead of continuing to talk about what it can do let's take it in the garage show you guys what it can do and then get it in the mud and really show you guys what it can do let's fire it up now, as of recording this video, this truck is not yet on consoles, but once it actually makes its way there, I will, of course, put a pinned comment uh, down in the comment section below to let you guys know that it has been approved. So let's go ahead and move into the garage, and this is where it gets very, very interesting. So, of course, we've got a blown big block under the hood. We've got a drop box and off-road transmission, but once we get to the suspension, this is where it gets interesting. Remember I was telling you guys about the different adjustable suspension heights? This is where we are going to be changing that. So we've got our sort of in-the-middle height. Then we've got our lifted height, and we've also got our lowered height, and I'll show you why we have those in just a second. So I'll leave it on the standard height or the middle ground height for now. And then tires wise, we have these tires, which are for loading. Then we have 52 inch patty tires. We have 52 inch generic mud tires, then 52 inch cut mud tires, then 52 inch check mark mud tires. You got a lot of 52s on this truck. Then you have the 66 inch monster tires, which are a whole nother ball game entirely. And I would probably recommend the higher suspension height for those. Then, you have the 55-inch wide mud tires, once again, 55-inch wide cut mud tires, and then 45-inch boggers and 45-inch cut boggers. There's a lot going on here with the tire sizes. Now, these 45s are definitely what I would recommend using with the lower suspension height, and I'll go ahead and show you guys what that looks like real quick, because the lower suspension height with these cut boggers actually looks really, really good, and it definitely looks like a setup that you could see being a thing in, in real life, but what we are going to go with is we're actually going to go with the, uh, the middle ground height, and the first tires we're going to use are the 55 wide cut mud tires. And then later on, we're going to go to the uh, the top height and use the monster tires. So winch wise, you've got the top, top strap. That's about it. And then frame add-ons wise, you have the front bumper. We have, let's see, front bumper uh, with kind of like a plastic, like almost like an air dam, at least if we're talking about, if we're talking about like car terms. But let's see, fuel cans in the back. Um, let's see, cab racer back. Oh, that's cool. And then uh, roof lights, roof visor, toolbox. Look at all the roof lights. I think that's really, really cool. Now, wheels-wise, you have the custom wide chrome rim and then the custom widened rim. So let's do... We'll leave it on that one for now and then just come back to it later. Right now, we don't have any uh, different color options on this truck because it's sort of his own personal design. And let's leave the garage and see what this setup looks like. Oh my god. The textures on this thing, too, look really, really good. Like the reflections and everything, it looks really sick. So let's go ahead and fire this thing up and take it for a drive. Every time you fire this thing up, it's like, oh my god. It just sounds powerful. And that's one of the things I love about it. Man, when you shift it up, too, like, it takes off. What's interesting is a lot of B Gamer's other trucks have a three-speed. This truck, on the other hand, has a four-speed, so you do have one extra gear for a little bit more speed in automatic mode. Let's change up this, uh, let's change up this weather real quick. Oh, God. There we go. Change up that weather real quick. It was looking a little gloomy outside. Holy crap. First obstacle, it didn't really even think it was there. That's nuts. And I know that this really isn't meant for, like, rock crawling or hill climbing or anything, but we're going to do one quick hill climb test just to see how easy it is for it. And go. What? Oh, my God. 
you want to talk about a truck launcher that is a truck launcher holy smokes that is an actual truck launcher now the only thing is we are in the testing grounds obviously summer testing grounds so we're gonna have to go back and just buy another one and throw some let's see wide cut mud tires on it and that's really all that we did i don't really actually while we're here i'll do the other wheel and we'll do the cab lights again and take it back outside yo that green beadlock that green beadlock is on point that looks so good actually felt it actually fits really really well with the green steering components on the axles too so let's make a no you know what before we go to that little swamp on the left we're gonna go to the mud pit on the right and we'll see how this thing really handles it because i have a feeling this thing is gonna absolutely rip even in the deep stuff actually let's just go through the deeper water this time does not phase it not even a little bit not even a little bit does this thing get phased by that it's really quick i've got to admit like when you get this thing up into fourth gear you're like holy cow that's freaking fast all right whoa thank you for the ninja winch god it looks so good i mean this body style of truck for whatever reason has always looked so good as a mud truck in my eyes i don't know about i don't know about you guys but let me know how you feel about that in the comment section down below so let's hit the shallow mud and hide you okay yeah it destroys it it whoa so um it does front flips if you break too hard in the mud apparently let's try to avoid that we'll ease on the onto the brakes the brakes are a lot better than i thought they were gonna be what the wheelies right through that like it's not even there oh my god that's full set okay well i was literally about to say that was full send but it starts to like it starts to dig if you leave it in high for too long Ooh, it's actually having a little bit of trouble right there but again that's just about where it starts to get up to the axles go ahead through here oh no back it up come on dude that engine was almost toast well we definitely found the limits of it in terms of mud depth but that's all right i mean it actually once again adds an element of challenge to it so let's switch something up real quick i want to go to a different tire let's see what oh god that is not what i wanted nope there we'll go to those slightly narrower tires and see if our performance changes at all I'm curious if it does, because if it does, then that's definitely going to have a major impact on what I use on this thing. Because the physics system does really like the narrower tires in mud, so we'll have to see. Come on, make your way back down. Now, this is the really tricky stuff. This is the really, really difficult stuff, so let's see how it likes this. It's a little iffy about it. I think mainly because it just buries the axles. Mainly because it just buries the axles. It can't handle it. You know what I mean? All right, let's drive it out of that real quick because I am not interested in getting this thing completely stuck this early into the test. But once again, it does do a really good job of telling you what its limits are. So now let's switch back up to a wide setup. Actually, no. Let's switch up to the monster setup. And we'll do the higher suspension. And now, all of a sudden, you basically have a monster truck. Like, I'm not even kidding. You literally have a monster truck now. Dude, these ain't too bad. Like, I was thinking they were going to be really bad in the mud just because of how wide they are. But they, they don't do too bad at all. All right, we're going to head into the mud. The really deep mud on this end. Impressive. Like, really impressive. You have to go a little slower when you're using these things in the mud, but hey, if you're willing to go a little bit slower, it does great. It absolutely does an amazing job. I'm really glad that we got to test all these different tire types, like, side by side as well, because these really, really surprised me. Like, really surprised me. And maybe, you know, maybe I shouldn't be all that surprised, but I think I still am. You know what I mean? I still am. Put it in a little plus once again and walk your way all right over that tree doesn't even care that, that the tree's there it's like ah don't worry about it we are all good dude all good 
All right, now we're going to make our way to a couple of other obstacles, and it does handle a little bit differently when you're driving around on these really wide tires. So you do have to be aware of that if you're just going to kind of drive around. And once again, I also feel like if you flip it over on these and you don't have dev tools, you're going to have to be uh, really careful because you're going to need one heck of a recovery vehicle just to see. Let's take it through the dips obstacle to see how much it just laughs about it. Because, oh, does it laugh about it. Oh, my God, it laughs about it so much. It bounces a bit, but it's like, it's not like it's, you know, having an issue with it. I'm honestly, like, really surprised. Easy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all, dude. Not bad at all. Let's take this thing to the bridge jump and see how it does down there. Now, one thing I do think we're going to have to keep in mind, though, about the bridge jump is the fact that these really, really wide tires may get caught on the edges of the bridge. So, depending on how, like, how close the edges are, we might have to switch tire types. I'm hoping we don't have to, but if we do have to, it's not really going to be the, you know, the end of the world or anything. But once again, I'm kind of hoping we don't have to do that. All right, let's get up this hill real quick. Oh, God. Make your moves, dude. Okay, yeah, it's, it's going to be fine. Oh, boy. All right, bridge jump time. We're going to run interior view for this. just so, Or at least interior view for like half of it so it doesn't get caught under the truck. Neutral. And go! Yo, that would have been so good if we hadn't have hit the rock. Because we, we hit the rock, bounced off the rock, and then started a spin cycle, pretty much. But if we hadn't hit the rock, we would have been just fine. We would have been all good. But if you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed this truck, let me know your thoughts and opinions on it in the comments down below. And also, if you're new around here and would like to see more, hit that subscribe button and turn those notifications on. And I will see you all next time. Talk to you guys later.